For teams that manage their clients through Teamwork Desk, life just got a whole lot easier. The company's feature allows you to group tickets from different employees at the same organization together under one company, making it easier for your team to view and respond to individual messages within a particular company. To find the company's tab, we just need to make sure that we're in the customers section here and that we've selected the company's tab. So here we can see a full list of all of our companies and we can see the company name. We can see the number of customers within that company. We can see the company address if it's listed. We can see the country that the company is based in and we can see the company website. Adding a company is really easy. All we need to do is go up here and select add company. And in the add company window here, we can add a logo for our company if we want to. Just over to the right, we can add our company name. We also have the option to add a company domain. So any customers who add a ticket from an email address with that domain will automatically be added into that company. Below this, we can set our customer portal permissions. So we can set this so that the customers can only view their own tickets or indeed that customers can view all of the tickets submitted by anyone in the company. And if we want to learn more about customer portal permissions, we can easily just follow this link here. If we select the add more info option, you can see that we can add things like an email address, telephone details, website, industry, etc. And then once we're happy, just select add company. And there you go. Now you can see that we're in the overview section for that company. However, this company is looking a little bare currently. So we can easily add any details to our company by going up here and selecting edit company. And now you can see that we can do things like add a photo, update the company details. So things like the company name, email address, website, industry, etc. We can also easily add any phone numbers and an address as well as their social media links. So once we update any of these details and save our changes, we'll see those changes reflected on the profile here on the left hand side. So here we are back in the overview tab and you can see that we've added some of our details and saved them and now they're appearing on the left hand side. And now that we've added some details for our company, our next step is to add some customers. And doing so is really easy. All we need to do is go up here and select add customer. So to add our customers, all we need to do is click on those customers and then choose add selected. So I'll just go through our list and add some customers. And once we're happy with the customers that we've chosen, we can just press add selected. So you can see that once we've added our customers, our overview tab here has dynamically updated. So in the summary section, we can see the number of customers. We can also see the number of tickets, our average response time, our average resolution time, our first response time, and our happiness rating. If we select the customers tab here, we can see a list of all of the customers for this company. So we can see their name, their email. If their phone number is listed, we'll see it here. We can see whether or not they can view company tickets. And we can also see the number of tickets that each customer has. And now over here in the tickets tab, we can see all of the tickets associated with this company. So we can easily and quickly get access to whatever relevant ticket we want here and respond as quickly as possible. And that's just the beginning of what you can do with companies. We've also introduced a company condition for triggers and smart inboxes to help you automate your workflow, as well as a dedicated companies filter for you to drill down into those important reports. If you've any further questions, feel free to contact us support at teamwork.com.